In this video, we'll be talking about how to add countertops to our kitchen. So I already have my countertops on here uh, just to show you a visual. So you're going to have kind of this L shape here. And then don't forget that you have this um, individual drawer, four drawer cabinet um, on the other side of the range that you'll also need to add the countertops to. As you create your countertops, notice how um, the countertop blue line is going around the sink. We do have to create that cutout for the sink. Otherwise, the countertops are going to go through the sink and then you can't use the sink because there's no um, opening for the sink. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete my countertop. And uh, there are countertops in the casework folder, however, um, the angle of these corner cabinets are a little funky and so there's a lot of manipulation that goes into it so one of the quick and easy ways to go ahead and create our countertops is by using the floor so i'm going to select floor and <clears throat> i'm going to select the floor countertop if you do not have this you can just create it uh, the properties i have is the material structure countertop so if you need to go in and edit that, you can. However, when we're doing the countertop, I think it's easiest to work in the first floor so that you can really see uh, where you're selecting. So I'm gonna use the line tool and I'm literally just going to trace out the countertop from these cabinets. And I'm gonna go a little bit beyond the cabinets because our countertop depth is 25 inches and our countertop or I'm sorry our base cabinet depth is only 24 inches so you can see my cursor says two foot one inch which is our 25 inch so I'm gonna come around the perimeter of our countertops and you can kind of see that our snaps are kind of snapping me into place here which is really nice I'll come all the way back to the wall and create a countertop outline for here. All right. And then what I need to go ahead and do is I'm going to right click and cancel. And then I also need to go around the, the shape of the sink here. And I can come in with the line tool or I can use my rectangle since the shape of our sink is a rectangle. And I need to create the perimeter cutout for um, the sink. And then my last cabinet here, I'm going to start at the wall and then come out 25 inches and create that second countertop there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next is press the green check mark, and then you can see kind of that blue, you know, one inch outline of the extension of the depth of our countertop. So I know this is really hard to see in your first floor floor plan. So if I come to my 3D view, you're going to notice that the countertop, yes, it is on the floor because we are using flooring, right? So what we need to go ahead and do is offset the height, all right? Now your base cabinets, I'm going to press the escape feature so that my countertop is not selected. The height of your cabinets is going to be really important because we have to put the countertop on top of the cabinet height. So my countertop is going to be about 2 feet 11 inches offset from the ground. So I'm going to select my countertop and we will type in 2 feet. There we go. 11. Doesn't like 11. There we go, 11 inches. Um, if you give it a second, it will, will go ahead and apply or this blue or this button down here, um, apply can be selected if it's not taking right away. But now you can see that the countertops are fully resting on top of my cabinets. The sink cutout is already applied so that we can go ahead and use that sink. And then if we flip it around, again, we have the countertop over on this four drawer cabinet to the right of the stove. And that is how you do countertops nice and easy in Revit.